Welcome to the GMT. My team for a to Nana. Welcome on our once again to this our news channel. Make una do what you always do. Follow us, like, share, and subscribe. As now here, they bring all the latest updates. They come your way. This one not be them. Say them. Say this one not see them for yourself. Make you hear them for yourself. On to the news. We all know say yesterday now we say they celebrate those men on uniform where they put their life first. To make sure say we with the same. Now yesterday they celebrate these people and the governor of River State come out to appreciate them well well. The governor of River State say Fubara don't come out to so thank these people for what they don't do and the sacrifices they don't make to make sure say many lives don't they save. He also thank the president of this country, Nigeria. He talks say the man don't they able to handle every form of insecurities and also he they tackle anything we get to do with insecurities. He talk many many things and he also advise these people on uniform where they do their very very best to make sure say they secure and safeguard Nigeria. Nigeria people. My people, I want to play on the video. Make kuna hear what this man gets to talk. It is my honor and privilege for me to welcome everyone to the 2024 Nigeria and for this Remembrance Day celebration. Today is a solemn occasion for all Nigerians to remember the sacrifice made by our men and women in uniform who fought in the various war, peacekeeping operation and internal conflict and security operation across the country to advance the world, regional and national peace of our dear country. We all gathered here to commemorate the extraordinary bravery, professionalism of our armed forces, including those who served in the past and those who are currently serving as of today. Then and now, they have been out there performing their constitutional duty day and night in the most difficult and dangerous circumstances and putting their lives on the line for all of us, both at home and abroad. They left their homes, spouse, children, families, and out for the Azodos life of soldier so that we can live in peace and security. At the end, some return traumatized with lost limbs and shattered hope, while some never returned at all to their families and loved ones. We also salute our veterans and members of the Nigerian Legion for their immeasurable service and also for the support and solidarity they have continued to provide to our soldiers and to their fallen veteran. We also pay special homage to the families of our servicemen and women for their fortitude, forbearance, and generosity of spirit. We are grateful for your immense love and support for our soldiers, which enable them to effectively perform their duties of protecting us. We acknowledge the heavy burden that they have bared and sacrificed as a debt that we can never fully repay. And also today, we are all gathered to remember and honor our servicemen and women for their patriotism and sacrifice and thank them for what they continue to do for every, for every one of us every day, for being there for us all the time. On behalf of the government and the people of River State, I join the president of our country to say thank you. We are all proud of your bravery, your valor, and patriotism. Although the war on terrorism and banditry are not fully ended, we commend our armed forces 
for the significant daily gain in the battlefield as we trust their capability, combat readiness and resilience. We urge the federal government to continue to provide and motivate them with all that they need to enable them to overcome these prolonged internal security challenges facing this nation. We commend our President and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces, His Excellency Bola Amitinibu, GCFRO, for his determination to end the economic and security challenges of our country. We believe that with Mr. President's political will, leadership and unprecedented support for our armed forces, Boko Haram and other internal security threats to our nation by non-state actor would soon be a history. DJ TV.